to build a solar powered car. Soldering irons. You can use Kinex pieces. And then there's right there is like a little bumper. If the vehicle is longer, then it, then more sun rays would fall on it, and it would go faster. Um, if it's lighter, it, the air will push it, and more sunlight can get to it, so it'll go faster. If it's if it's skinnier. It might go fast, but if you run into something, it might break. There's more heaviness in the front. It will make it go faster, so it's like more aerodynamic. Augustine's car and Marcello's car. We named it the Masters of Black Chaos. If you attach red and black cords to the um, to the motor, it will spin. It will spin this gear, which spins the wheels. That's my finished car. Um, this is a solar panel. Put it right there. It my car. This car runs in the sun. Congratulations. We're a class of third and fourth graders at Greenwood Charter. And we built a solar powered battery charger. The first thing we learned before building our charger was about safety. Mr. Byron and Mr. C trained us about how to use soldering irons safely. Safety is good. One of the red wires and hook it up to a black wire. And then you take a red wire and hook it up to the positive. And then you take the black wire and hook it up to the back. You're going to have to run that flat wire from where to where? The top of one to the bottom of one. And then it will flow in a circle. Yes, you're going to do all yourself, just like this. So, 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 Do you have enough voltage to recharge a battery there? Why? You need four volts to recharge your battery, and I have 3.9, so that's about. It was really 
Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, this is a new experience for us too, the adults, and um, I really appreciate that your patience 